video on top of the pen setter. I've been asked for a little bit more from on top and I'll run it through some cycles and explain a little bit of how the pen setter works. Uh, first off, you see this blue piece on here. If you've been watching the live videos and wonder what it was, I added this on because the pins come up the cross conveyor and they get to the pin gate right here. And then when the pin gate opens to let the next one through, sometimes they have a hard time getting over that hump at the very top. So I kind of put this uh, piece across there to kind of help squeeze the pin between that and the belts. Make sure I didn't have a uh, slow pin going up. Also, before I get started, this is the second ball solenoid that I'm trying to get working. The Arduino board right here is what I use for the automatic scoring that works up on the laptop up front. There is a switch right here on the side of the detector every time the machine cycles it pushes that switch one time and that's what also tells the camera when to score and then right here the blue thing is a mercury switch that controls the crown that lights up if you get a strike there's a little mercury thing in there and the two wires come off and whatever that you strike it drops down and it completes the circuit inside the little mercury switch there which makes the crown light up uh, right here is the reset solenoid. This part here is what pushes down the clutch arm, the back of the gearbox. This is the clutch for the pin setter itself. And this is the clutch stop arm. You'll see that running here in a minute where the arm goes up and down. And that arm, when it's underneath, stops the clutch arm, which stops the pin setter cycling. So I'll go ahead and turn it on here, run it through a few cycles and you can see everything working. Then reset it here and you'll see the sunlight click and it'll release the clutch. That's the clutch arm going up and down. As long as that little arm stays out of the way, the other arm can go up and down, and right there blocks it, stops the pin center. This right here is the deck lowering ring. That's what makes the pin center go all the way down for a full stroke. This one does the short stroke on a first ball cycle. But you can watch that. There's the deck lift shaft is right there. There's a big pin across there. That's actually holding the whole pin center up right now. I'll go ahead and run it. You can see that in action. Right now it's on second ball. The deck holding hook is holding it. Four to one. 
held up and whenever the rake drops, it releases that switch, sends the reset pulse to the reset solenoid after about two seconds. I'll drop the rake and you'll see this solenoid energized. Right now the rake's about to drop. There's a little delay in there. Notice it's already got 10 pins in the deck down there. The turtle will go ahead and fill up another 10 pins and then it'll keep it from dropping the second set of 10 until it goes down right here to set the first set of 10. There's a mechanism to stop it from basically call it the, they call it double dumping. Put another 10 pins on top, they're going to sit on top of the other 10 and not go down. Which you'll see here in a second, you've got 10 in. Heating up the cross conveyor. A little scrub in at it. So here it comes where you got two sets of 10. It'll hold off those 10. Until it releases the mechanism right there, and then when it comes up, then it can dump another 10 pins. The 5 pin is always the last one to go in on the cycle. There's the trip lever right there that the pin hits every time it goes in. And when it hits the trip lever, it advances the turret in one position. And it locks on each one. Here we go, we're getting to have another one. Another double set. Now we don't have another pin to do it. And the moving deck is actually a stationary deck. And you'll see whenever it goes down to set pins, it shifts to put the pins down on the lane. It's a pretty unique system. There's a deck cable that controls everything. If you notice there's a scissor cable and a deck cable over there on that pulley. Watch when it goes to set pins here, you'll see the outer pulley turn where the deck is shifting. The outer one is for the, for the deck shifting and the inner one is for the scissors. The deck, the deck holding hook is that big metal hook that's sitting out there that'll hold you to see that second ball. See the inner pulley is turning here, right? It's hard to see, but that actually runs the scissors. This is the rake release mechanism. That little hole right there hits that guy right there and will release the rake and make it drop. So if you see it come down, there'll be about a penny width gap in between the two. When you throw a ball, the piece on the left hits the piece on the right and releases the rake and makes the rake drop. And it locks back in place when it gets all the way down and now it's a solid bar again. That's the detector. See, you just got a strike. Mercury switch is dropped, which made the crown light up. And this switch right here 
This is your one two ball line switch. So right now it's on one ball, and you'll see it rotate for a second. And now it's on second ball. It releases the switch. When we release it, the second ball light comes on, which is that orange light down there on the main unit. You can see again we have 20 pins. We got 10 in, 10 waiting, and it does a double dump so the mechanism releases down to 270. Now I can put 10 in. Now I'll just let it run for a few cycles and you can watch that. See how the ball return works. Very nice. He just picked up a big split. Six, seven, ten, I believe. He's gonna bowl here, and you can see how the ball works here. is holding it. There's the rig sleeve hook. That's the rig sleeve hook right here that it catches to run the rig back. There's the four to one. Right. Put a video on the top of the pin setter. 